first day in Onang for Craig and Nit. Nice hotel. Down they go for breakfast. Not a bad breakfast at all. Lovely swimming pool. But first on Craig's list is explore Onang. I walk out of the hotel along the front a bit and they spent maybe three hours, four hours wandering around. It's not that big, but they covered most of it. Um, the shopping area, they found a few little bars. And although Nit had brought some clothes with her, she asked if she could get a swimming costume for the pool, if they were gonna go swimming in the pool, and maybe some shorts and bits and pieces. And Craig happily took her, found some, some clothes. There's quite a few market stalls there and uh, kitted her out. Everything's great. It's a lovely place. Craig spotted on the front lots of boat tours to different islands. He'd heard about the islands around Onang. I mean from there you can get to PP Island. You can even stay on PP Island. Then there's all the other little islands. The ones movies have been made at. Including the James Bond Island. And you can even get a boat over to Phuket. Absolutely stunning part of Thailand, where the water is aqua blue, diving, snorkeling, amazing. A lot of backpackers in that area, uh, because you can stay in Onang very cheap. There's quite a few sort of hostel places there, and it's just a great area. Nice feel, especially if you want to chill out um, and get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Craig had never experienced this. The, the nearest he'd seen is the beach in Patea, which is um, average. But that beach is on the Gulf of Thailand, the you know the inlet. So it's not quite the same as where he was, which is on the Andaman Sea. Totally different water quality. The beaches, whether some of them are man-made, but a lot of beautiful beaches around that area. This felt like sort of paradise that he had heard about and he was starting to live the dream he's with a beautiful woman could speak pretty good English was very friendly affectionate loving was what many men would class as perfect wife material the dream wife really really almost paradise they spent uh, all the morning wandering around got some clothes went back to the hotel had a bit of a nap got a bit of a snack in the bar area downstairs and then went for a swim in the pool beautiful swimming pool beautiful pool and Nit could swim a little bit which was great and uh, was uh, was pretty usual a lot of Thai ladies can't swim or can swim a little bit still splash around a bit but the pool's pool wasn't deep it was only about a meter deep pretty much across the whole pool but she seemed happy she purchased a one-piece swimming costume um, a lot of Thai ladies don't like showing too much skin in public which is uh, understandable whilst Craig was in the pool looking at Nit he swam across there's a pool bar and he'd ordered a couple of drinks Nit was splashing around and he sat there with a pint of beer water up to his chest leaning against the pool bar sun that was as, as close as paradise can be surely and that's the moment Chris, uh, Craig will always remember just there with his pint beautiful lady with him and that, that is like the dream moment rest of the day goes by in the evening they went out found some Thai food in a restaurant uh, Nit seemed happy they went off to a little bar 
kicked around a couple of bars, had a few beers, and uh, headed back to the hotel for the night. They'd had 24 hours in Krabby, Onang. Five o'clock next morning, Craig's fast asleep and Nit shakes him and wakes him up and he opens his eyes and looks at her. She's fully dressed and she said to Craig, I have to go. My mum's sick. I need some money. Now Craig was asleep. He just wasn't with it. You waking up, he just wasn't awake. He automatically leant over and grabbed his wallet, pulled out two or three thousand baht, that's all he had in there, and handed to her and just drifted back to sleep. I'm sure she said she had no family, no mother, no father, no kids. Eight o'clock, I mean, he'd had a few drinks the night before. Maybe he'd got merry. Maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock, he woke up. And uh, it took him 10, 15 minutes to wake up properly. And he got up and he looked around and it just didn't register. He went off into the bathroom, washed clean his teeth, come back out. And then he started realizing Nit wasn't there. Then he looked around in the bathroom, her toothbrush had gone and her creams. Looked in the bedroom, her suitcase had gone. Um, all her clothes are gone. First thing he did, open the wardrobe, open the safe. Um, nothing gone. And he's scratching his head, looking around, thinking, what? Well, and he starts remembering some conversation a few hours earlier about a mum ill and needed money. And he started realizing that that actually happened. It wasn't a dream. Still scratching his head. Um, he's gone into his pocket, dug his phone out and he'd got Nick's number at some point they'd spoken on the phone or exchanged numbers and he's rung her number um, and he rings and she answers and he said I've just woken up what happened where, where are you what are you doing and all she said to him was my mum's ill I'm on the bus I'm going home I'll ring you when I get home and she put the phone down and closed her phone. Um, and that was it. So he's on day two. He's in Onan Krabi, now on his own. He paid her bar for a week. Her mum's fallen ill. And he starts thinking, she told me she had no mum. What's going on? Totally confused. He gets himself together. He gets dressed. He goes down, he thinks, oh, I've got to have some breakfast. And he has breakfast. And he's still scratching his head over breakfast. Phones again. Phones turned off. Nothing. And he cannot figure it out. Even though he'd been eight or nine times to Thailand, he just couldn't work it out. What's going on? Over the whole day, he wandered out a bit to the shops, got a bit of food, had a beer, tried ringing many times, her phone's totally turned off. There he was, in Krabby, girl's gone. He hasn't got the bar number to ring in Patea. She's not answering the phone, the phone's turned off. She said she'd ring when she got home. Not a, nothing, all day. By the evening, he'd come to the conclusion that she obviously has a mum and she's ill, she's gone off, and it could be way up North Thailand. He'd heard stories about how far it was and village life, etc. 
he was confused because she said she had no family but he thought well it could be a day before she rings there's no point in him keep ringing her he's in crabby he's got a couple more days there he might as well either pack up and go back to potato and wait at the bar for her or get on with his holiday so he does he spends the next two days not a peep from her he's rung a couple of times phones off he just gets on with it he doesn't bother with any other girls he does have a few drinks and a laugh with some girls in the bars meets a few other foreigners he spends quite a bit of the time at the hotel just very confused and shaken he's only got maybe two more days left after Krabby he's gonna fly back to Bangkok go back to Patea a couple of days and then he goes home anyway moving forward no news on the phone Krabby finishes taxi airport back to Bangkok still trying to get older on the phone nothing taxi Bangkok back to Patea checks back into his previous hotel he's got two nights and it's already late afternoon on the one day goes round to the bar no sign of her tells the bar mama san boss what has happened does she know anything can she help again quite good english she said that nit had rung her um and that her mother was ill in hospital and that she'd gone and her mum lived up near a place called nong kai right up north thailand and Craig said I thought she had no mother or father she told me no family and the woman just shrugged her, her shoulders and Craig said well I paid for a week and she's not been with me and the woman said you have to talk to Nit she will give you money back I'm sure when she comes back but I don't know when she's coming we don't know anything sorry it's not the bar's fault the bar can't help These things do happen. I mean, is it true? It could be totally true. She just didn't want to say to Craig about her family. But there's a few alarm bells there. Craig couldn't do anything. He had a few beers in the bar. Went the next day. Again, tried ringing it. Nothing. Spent the day just wandering around. Couldn't get her out of his mind. Playing loads of tricks. He had exchanged emails with her at some point as well. So he even sent her an email saying, where are you? Why is your phone not working? What's happening? I'm worried about you. Through the day. Again, end of the day, he comes back to the same bar. Any news? Nothing. The boss said sorry. But the other girls in the bar, you could see them whispering to each other. And one of them was sort of smiling as if they were talking about Craig. And he got a bit of a, a funny feeling about that. It just didn't seem right. But he didn't speak the language. A couple of words. It's time for his holiday was over. He, the next morning, was going off back to Ireland. He said goodbye at the bar, went back to his hotel, slept, breakfast in the morning. His taxi arrived, packed up, paid his bills, headed off to the airport. As he arrived at the airport, his phone rang. It was Nit. And it was a quick call saying, again, I'm sorry what's happened. My mum's in hospital, not well. I can't get to see you before you go. Really sorry. Uh, email, I'll email you when I get things sorted. Have a safe trip home. I'll see you soon. When are you coming next? Well, his answer to that was, he was happy to hear from her. And he said, I will be um, back over in about three months, maybe sooner if I can afford to. Let me know you're all okay. And she's, yeah, okay. And put the phone down. It seemed to be a relief that he got that call. It's sort of a bit of a closure in some way. It made the flight home easier. And off he went. strange how someone he'd met only for so many days together can have a hook on him and make him feel 
the way he is. Hmm. Anyway, we'll leave it there. One more episode to come. See you soon.